What do we do now? Put your hat on. That chest, chest has a key, and there's a woman that will help you in the in the boss fight if you talk to her. I already talked to her. I'm trying to kill her. That's why summons can't fight them. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Cause there's a bonfire up ahead. A much easier bonfire. I missed every punch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How would you even accomplish that? <laughs> That's the shortcut. You gotta make it. You gotta do a Tony Hawk jump down there. No, 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 no. Get out of my way. There's an explosive in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Tag team match down there. Now it's a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like a little bit delayed for me. So it looked like the thing was still alive and you just fell down, landed on him, and finished it. <laughs> How the fuck? 
I tried hitting one of them, but I went fucking through him and he hit me in the back. This one's still alive. I know, I've been trying to hit him, but my attacks go through him. I can't target him, but he's attacking me. I don't understand. Looks like he's dead, I don't see anyone. Now he's dead. I guess he's just, he was invincible. Okay, follow me real quick, okay. Like, what if, like, a space-time portal appears, and you go into an- you travel into a parallel dimension- where the fuck are you going? Oh, there you are. Never mind, my thing's getting laggy. Uh, okay. parallel- you <clears throat> teleport to a parallel dimension, and you wake up in your room, in your bed, Ow. and you put your- and you put your clothes on, and you go down oh, yeah. to- the living room and your dad's on the couch watching Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And he's like, oh hey Michael, I'm watching Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you want to watch it? like, yeah, sure. And you sit down with your dad and you watch Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, now, now we go backwards. Oh, you opened it. Um, and it's at that scene where it's at the biker bar oh and Arnold's is walking around. Uh, do you want me to heal you? That's the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to heal you? Yeah. And he's walking around the bi that bike bar. All the people are looking like, oh shit, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Hello. naked in my bar. And he's doing the scans. And he's playing the music. And he's walking around. Naked. And he see and he scans that long haired dude with the jacket. And he scans him and he figures he's, he finds out he's the right size for to get his clothes. So Arnold goes up to the biker guy, and he looks at him, and the guy, biker guy's looking at him. And Arnold goes... Ah! And you they realize... They changed that movie. I don't remember that being in that movie. And you realize you've been into the dimension where the Terminator only speaks and screams. <laughs> What? That's the only thing that's different. <laughs> that's the only thing? He doesn't speak at all? Is that how Arnold normally all, talks? It's all just, of his- all of <sighs> All of his lines are now screams. <laughs> only in the Terminator. So in like the first one, where he's, where the, where he's at the cop station, <laughs> and the guy's like, no, and instead of saying, I'll be back, he just, he just looks down through his glasses and it goes, Oh! <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> and the fucking cop like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm putting my shit down by the bonfire. When you die, I'll take out. your mic Jesus. cut. Your mic cut out. So I, your mic cut out. So I assume. So my brain thought just heard. When you die, I'll take your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean what I said. <laughs> I don't want I don't want her either. The bonfire is this way. What's in the soup? Oh, yeah, that area does come before. Oh, that's fucking nice. And they got rid of all those fucking swordsmen by the bonfire, which is a huge nightmare. Oh, where'd you fucking go? What? You're supposed to fall oh. off these ladder. What are you doing? I fell off a cliff and I died. How did you fall off? There was a ladder. There was a man. He came out and attacked me. <laughs> Building it into my mouth, but okay. 
I'm like, what if they make Expendables 4, yeah. but it's just you? The whole plot is, is, ever, is that... <laughs> <laughs> and they don't change the name, so it's still pluralized, but it's just you on the cover. And the plot is Sylvester Stallone's like, my only hope, we're all retiring, and like, I, I'm just a man, I'll, I can't do all this. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then, and then you go on a mission, and you gotta like, got, you gotta single-handedly destroy a, a Somali pirate. And it goes really, but you don't have any gadgets or guns, they don't give you any supplies. <laughs> they just tell you to fucking do it. <laughs> and you, and you try to, you try to, Get a commercial plane to go to Somalia, and they kidnap you instantly. <laughs> and they fucking they kidnap you instantly, and the mission's a huge failure. Is the movie like two hours of convincing them? <laughs> <laughs> That picture is one of where the guys are all... <laughs> and he does a bunch of ridiculous shit. Like Mike, he doesn't, like Mike doesn't want it because he doesn't need to do it. And Russell Sloan's guy just keep driving by his neighborhood saying, Mike, we need you! Like every time Mike has to go get the mail, Sloan drives up in an old fucking convertible cat, like Cadillac with the top down, like the Homer Simpson car. Oh, you go first. And fuck, he's like, Mike, the country needs you. And then he, but one time he's looking at Mike, he fucking, like two times where he's not, where he's doing that. Cause this scene plays like 20 times. Two of those times he crashes and gets horribly injured. <laughs> Every time he hits your mailbox. <laughs> I picture me succeeding at the Smalley pirate thing. And then I get mad at, at Sylvester Stallone and I kill him in real life. <laughs> you, you what, succeed. what if you deplete thirty percent of Africa's population and then they get mad at you? Sylvester Stallone in real life. You succeed in stopping the Somali pirate problem without any without any resources. <laughs> oh. oh that's a sum. I thought we were being I thought we were being invaded for a Oh fuck. You see anybody in here? One of these one of these chests is trapped. Oh, they moved. Gavlon's supposed to be in here. I bet it's this one. Open it but roll. Think I should open it? Yeah. Is I it's just because it's trapped doesn't mean it's not items in there. Oh, are you serious? <laughs>